So you consider yourself a young professional and you're looking to move to Metro Detroit, but you don't want to move just anywhere. You're looking for some of the best cities or suburbs that Metro Detroit, Michigan has to offer for young professionals. And in this video, I'm going to break down the list of the top five suburbs to live in if you are a young professional. Welcome, and if you're new to the channel, my name is Nick. I'm a top producing real estate agent here in the Metro Detroit, Michigan market. And I've helped hundreds of families and individuals move to and around, buy and sell in Metro Detroit, Michigan. So if you're interested in that feel free to get a hold of me my contact information is in the description below also make sure to subscribe like and hit that bell button that way you're notified of all of the new and upcoming information around metro detroit and whether it's one month or one year from now i would love to chat with you and help you make that smooth move to michigan so without any further ado let's jump into the top five suburbs to live in if you are a young professional so as I mentioned in this video, I'm going to break down the top five, starting with number five and going all the way up to number one on the list for the best suburbs to live in Metro Detroit. If you're a young professional, we're gonna talk about location, the market specific information, as well as the housing market and anything that you need to know about entertainment and what there is to do if you're going to be moving into one of these cities. Coming in at number five on the list is Farmington, Michigan. Farmington is a suburb of Detroit with a population of around 11,500 individuals. Farmington is located in Oakland County and is one of the best places to live in Michigan. Living in Farmington offers residents a dense suburban feel and most residents own their home in the city. In Farmington, there are a lot of restaurants, coffee shops, and parks. There are many young professionals that live in the city of Farmington, and there are so many things to love about the city itself. According to Niche.com, Farmington ranks number five out of 336 for best suburbs for young professionals in Michigan, as well as number eight, out of 336 as the best suburbs to live in the state of Michigan. So let's break down the location of Farmington. Farmington is located about 30 minutes northwest of downtown Detroit. One of the things that so many people love about the city of Farmington is its affordability when it comes to the housing market. The average price of a home in the city of Farmington is right around $254,000. Not only is this great for all age ranges and income levels, but specifically for young professionals because it is on the lower side of the cost of living or the cost of purchasing a home in Metro Detroit. So Farmington is one of the areas that I am very familiar with, not only because I've helped buyers and sellers in this market, but also because I have lived in Farmington Hills. Now Farmington Hills and Farmington are two completely different cities and I have a video on that, so make sure to check out the rest of my channel. But I am very familiar with the area as well as the downtown location and all of the things that there are to do. So now that we've covered some of the information about the suburb or the city of Farmington, let's jump in the car and go look at some of the housing. Coming in at number four on the list is the city of Berkeley. Berkeley is a suburb of Detroit with a population of around 15,000 people. Living in Berkeley offers a suburban feel and most residents own their home in the city. The city of Berkeley offers a wide array of entertainment, dining and shopping, including coffee shops and some outdoor activities with its numerous parks. According to Niche.com, Berkeley was ranked third out of 336 for best suburbs to buy a house in Michigan, and it was also ranked number four for the best suburbs for young professionals in the state of Michigan. All right, so let's talk about Berkeley's location, and that is about 30 minutes northwest, slightly west of downtown Detroit. It is also around 35 to 40 minutes from the DTW airport. And again, one of the reasons that so many young professionals like to live and move to this area is because of the affordable housing market. The average price of a home in the city of Berkeley is right around $330,000. The city of Berkeley is very close in proximity to both of those locations. So if you're looking for an area that is just outside of those busier downtown locations like Ferndale and Royal Oak, Berkeley could be a good option for you. Let's jump in the car and go take a look at some housing in Berkeley.
Coming in at number three on the list is Pleasant Ridge. Pleasant Ridge is a suburb of Detroit with a population of around 2,600 individuals. It is also located in Oakland County and is one of the best places to live in Michigan. Living in Pleasant Ridge offers residents a rural feel and most residents own their home. This city offers plenty of bars, restaurants, coffee shops, and parks. According to Niche.com, Pleasant Ridge was ranked three out of 621 for best places to retire in the state of Michigan, as well as number three out of 336 for best suburbs for young professionals in the state of Michigan. One of the reasons that so many young professionals like living in Pleasant Ridge is because it is close to Berkeley, Royal Oak, and Ferndale, which we'll cover here in a second. But because of its close proximity to some of those downtown areas, it is a very sought after location for young professionals. And as far as the housing market is concerned, the cost of living or the cost of a home is slightly higher than Farmington and Berkeley with an average home value of around $465,000. Pleasant Ridge is another city around Farmington Hills and Royal Oak. And you'll see why I keep mentioning those two cities here soon because so many people want to live in this area and in proximity to Berkeley, Pleasant Ridge, Royal Oak and Ferndale. There are many different housing styles and craftsmanship throughout Pleasant Ridge. So let's jump in the car and go take a look at some. Coming in at number two on the list is Royal Oak, Michigan. Royal Oak is located just north of Detroit and has become a popular spot for young professionals due to its vibrant downtown area filled with shops, restaurants, and entertainment options. It also has a strong sense of community and offers a variety of housing options. Living in Royal Oak offers residents a dense suburban feel and most residents own their home. It was also ranked number 11 out of 336 for best suburbs to live in Michigan. Royal Oak has a population of around 58,000 individuals, so it is a bigger and more populated area. And again, one of the reasons that so many young professionals and people love to live in Royal Oak is because of its affordable housing, and the average home price of a home in Royal Oak is right around $355,000. Royal Oak is one of a few cities that I have people reaching out to me and asking questions about on pretty much a daily basis. This is a city that is very high in demand and that a lot of people are looking to move to, not only because of the housing market and affordability, but also because of the entertainment and things to do. One of my favorite things about the city of Royal Oak is its downtown location, which offers shopping, different dining experience, bars, restaurants, and a wide variety of nightlife. Royal Oak also offers a wide variety of different houses. So let's jump in the car and go take a look at some of the new construction as well as some of the older buildings. All right, so the moment we've all been waiting for, and that is the number one best suburb for young professionals in all of Metro Detroit, and that is Ferndale, Michigan. Ferndale is a small city located just north of Royal Oak. It has a hip and electric atmosphere with a variety of shops, restaurants, and nightlife options. Ferndale is populated by just over 19,000 individuals and is located in Oakland County. Living in Ferndale offers residents a sparse suburban feel, and most residents own their home in that city. So there are so many reasons why so many young professionals and people love living in Ferndale. Not only does it have a downtown area, but it has plenty of shopping, restaurants, and nightlife. One of the big reasons that so many people look to move to Ferndale is because of the affordable housing market. The average price of a home in the city of Ferndale is right around $276,000. There is definitely a reason why Ferndale comes in at the top of this list, and it is because there is so much demand due to the amount of entertainment and nightlife that the city of Ferndale provides, including downtown Ferndale. So whether you're looking to go shopping or get breakfast, brunch, lunch, dinner, or go out for a night on the town, Ferndale has anything and everything that you would like. As far as the housing market and the different types of houses that are available in the city of Ferndale, it offers a wide variety of options, including older buildings and historic homes, as well as new construction. So let's jump in the car and go take a look.
So that wraps up the list of the top five suburbs to live in if you are a young professional looking to move to the Metro Detroit market. And if you are specifically looking to move to one of these cities or one of the surrounding suburbs of these areas, make sure to reach out to me, whether it's one month or one year from now. I want to be able to help you and put you on the right path, guide you in the right direction and answer any questions that you might have. And until then, make sure to check out the rest of my channel where I cover and go into depth on all of these cities that we talked about in this video, as well as all of the rest of the cities throughout Metro Detroit and why you might be looking to move to and live in the Metro Detroit, Michigan area. And I'll see you soon.